Hey guys, we are Time to Swing, and today we're going to have a jive lesson for you. Alright, jivers, so we're going to be working with a little bit more of an intermediate advanced style. Uh, we're going to try and do the one-handed technique as much as possible today with turns, and uh, a cool way to get into some things from hammerlock and a uh, flat hand push. So hammerlock, if you don't know or aren't familiar with that position, uh, it's basically an outside turn but keeping a hold of both hands, right? So we have the outside, and boom. So this is what we call hammerlock, or infinity sign. Kind of looks like that. Yeah. Yep. So as a follow, what I'm doing, sometimes what we like to do first is just go through... Just um, walk through the movement. Placement, and then worry about feet later. So uh, follow, you're going towards your right shoulder, leads you're lifting this left hand, and you're gonna pour out the water with the other hand and help rotate her around or your follow around. For leads, it's the same thing as your fly hand push. We start with one basic here. We get ready for that fly hand push. We start rotating. That's when we pour that water out with your right hand, keeping it loose. Leads and follows. Make sure not to grab too tight here because you're going to get caught between the leads hand and you're going to get tangled here. So a nice um Firm connection, but not a grip. So you want to still make sure you're making contact, but definitely not trying to hold on too much. Um, yeah, so loose is the key there. You get a nice rotation. So a lot of times the misconception is sometimes leads will just open up the gate, and it's like, okay, follows go through. Yes and no. So it's a good signal, right? So you're opening here. I can follow through, but leads you still have to be mindful when you pour out that water. That's a good helps my shoulder turn and this hand up here helps to keep me rotating yeah you want to propel your follow with your left hand I should just said if we start and I do this and up I, I just stopped the movement <laughs> I'm not doing anything anymore where we go so you want uh, to keep that movement with your left hand keep rotating as you're pouring that water out with your right hand boom Yes, and it also helps to, now you notice that we are parallel, or shoulder to shoulder, so leads you want to try to eliminate, uh, turn towards me, Yeah, you want to try to eliminate this, uh, more of an open up. So just think uh, natural body position, right? Sometimes things might feel a little like awkward, awkward or like a torque in your shoulder or something. Uh, you don't, those are the things that we try to eliminate through dancing, because it should feel comfortable, and you move with you know, your natural body movement, oh, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a basic, and then we'll show this flat hand hammer lock. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we'll move through it. Five, six, seven, and one, and two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, so you notice that once you get into your hammer lock position, it's a little bit more of a bop or a walk. So you have your basic footwork here, right push in out in so when you're in right that's your flat hand push you're gonna send her send your follow out and then you would just start bopping or walking if you want that rotation or that pivot like as you're doing your basic use your knees to that bop and twist and you're gonna guide your follow with your right hand here. Uh, so I'm feeling the connection uh, here to help me twist and guide. With my left hand, it's just saying stable. Don't try to guide with this left hand. It's going to hurt. So You're doing everything rotation. right here. Boom. Nice and easy. Boom. And you can just walk, bop through it. All right. So however you move through that, that's where uh, you put that hammer lock in. So now, how do we release, right? So you've gotten into your hammer lock. Several different ways. They're all fun. We've gotten into your hammerlock, you're bopping or you're walking around, okay? Make sure that you get a nice um, dynamic interaction with that. So try to make your hammerlock uh, travel mm -hmm. if you can. So one other thing we do want 
is just like this grip for lead and follows, keep this loose. You also want to keep positioning loose. Leads, your left hand is about mid chest. And here it's about uh, lower back. back. Yeah, low back. Yeah, you don't want to think, right, because here, again, natural body position, this is not comfortable. Too low, also kind of awkward. You really have to know the person for it to be that low. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, again, uh, mid back or low back. Yeah. And for here, also depending upon length, leads, if we're tall and if we have a lot longer limbs, if for us, if comfortable is here, that might be comfortable for her because she can't reach. So you want comfortable, always comfortable for the follow. Or uh, or shorter person usually yeah. is a rule of thumb too. Um, we don't have a lot of expansion room <laughs> from experience. Yes. Okay. So how to get out of this, right? Two, a couple of ways. We talked about doing a lot of one-armed uh, work, to, or one-hand uh, work today. And this is the way to start it. Okay. So you have your basic one, two, one, two, one, walk or bop. Huh? Two, we can do one, another flat hand push two, here. One. We bring two, her in. One. Out. Two. And we can keep here one handed. When you're back to here, you can do your basics. Another flat hand push. You can do that inside turn. And you can just travel and walk. Follows have their foot work here. So, ladies or follows, you can take this right uh, leg behind you and walk it. So this feels comfortable to do when we're on a cross, meaning I'm here. So when he, when your uh, partner starts to walk around, I can step forward and back, forward, back, or step it and cross behind. I can go forward or back or back. So what really helps there is the twist and keeping this arm kind of tight into your body. So that helps rotate you. So it's a step. This Mem movement is not lead. That's all her. That's just styling. So um, remember, in jive, you have the one, two, one. But you have that bounce in between there, right? So when you have your basic, sorry, you have your basic one, two, one, two, one, two. Bounce, pulse. You have a lot of that pulse. So you have to keep that pulse. So it's not step, step, step. You could step through certain things, but you still want to keep that bounce, pulse, bounce, pulse, pulse, bounce, bounce, pulse. So make sure you maintain that. So again, uh, you're in your hammerlock position and you're walking around or bopping around. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. So this is when follows are on the right leg and leads you should be on the left and you push and you're gonna let you're go. You're gonna bring her in. In. That right hand push is ready. Out. Out. And then from here it's any of your basics you already know. You can shoot back and then bring her inside for another turn. Boom. And you're back mm -hmm. to your basic. Mm -hmm. You can go back to two hand. If you're comfortable with one hand, that's is where this is a you're nice, gonna start. Yeah, this is a nice entrance into being able to release and then go into your uh, basics there. So that's a very popular way. Most of the time we see jive is one hand. Mm -hmm. right? It's very popular. Europe, um, actually a lot in Japan too. I'm watching yeah. a lot of um, dancers from Japan. It's pretty neat. And uh, Mexico too. Mexico for sure. Mm -hmm. Baby jivers. So try to work a lot with the one hand. Okay, so your hammer lock there. You saw that when you come in, sorry, let's go to, yep. So when you come in, there is another way that you can get out of this, and that's keeping uh, both hands pretty much, right? Keeping both hands, mm -hmm. but we're gonna go inside. So for that one, if we start walking from here, we're gonna walk, walk. When we're out here, when we bring her in, your left hand leads, you're coming across. You're just gonna unwind. So the way that you got into it, you're gonna get out. <laughs> yeah. So And we're gonna keep hold of both. Or if you wanted to, you can again use one hand. When the follows out, you can let go and just bring her around. Boom. So you have an outside turn or an inside turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So again, no footwork. Okay, if you wanna go with the outside flat hand push. Bring her in close. There's that tension here, she's flexed, I'm flexed. 
and then rotate. Out we go. Boom. Or you can go opposite direction. So this As is when I'm... starts when mm -hmm. the follows out. When she comes, when you're going to bring her in with this right hand, you can release the top left hand. hand mm -hmm. Or you start the rotation and you release bottom hand. And then you're in your one hand. There's a lot position. of different variations you can do. Mm -hmm. They're all fun. You just practice with all of them. Yeah, so those are some great uh, ways to get into one hand jiving um, from hammerlock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So that's, so that's your hammerlock in a nutshell. We're going to keep going. We have a, little, a few more things for your one hand jiving. Continuing with that styling uh, for follows, you have that walk. And leads can do it too as well, um, but I notice uh, a little bit more with leads. It's more the bop feel. Yeah. Uh, if I do, do it too, though. If I do cross, I'll start after she starts. So if we're doing basics and she starts crossing, it's going to make me cross because I need to keep up with that pivot action that she's doing. If I wanted to bop, I can, but I'm going to pivot more in place while she's crossing. Okay. Um, just be mindful that you don't lose so much of the connection. So you don't want to pull too much or you don't want to rotate too much that you compromise connection and then you start getting different angles for lead and follow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to make sure that you're um, continuing momentum in a... Uh, Almost like a circular motion. Yeah, balanced motion. Yeah, balanced motion. Okay, so you did your uh, cross hands, or excuse me, hammer lock. Yeah. yeah. So now we're in uh, our one hand jive. Okay, so leads you can do um, across the waist yeah, or you so can go underneath. Once you get into this one-handed position, you can do your regular outside turn. From here, when you bring the follow back, that's the one you go around the waist, catch to get back in this one-handed position. You can do outside turn, bring her in again, and you go over under your own arm. Everything's going to be much easier when she crosses. When she passes me, that's when I, I do my move. So we don't get tangled or stuck. Yeah, so I think a good rule is usually one at a time to go for the turns. Yes. It's a little bit harder to do um, at the same time. Even if you do like a barrel roll, which would be back to back, right? So we just go here, right? So this barrel roll, boom. Technically, we're, I mean, it, we're going we're at the same at the time. Same time, but you're making the follow turn like a little bit ahead of you. Yeah. So usually, uh, right, so we'll do it this direction. Uh, when you do this barrel roll here, he's got to help me get to his shoulder first, and I actually start rotating, and then he's going to finish the rotation f uh, last. So it's a little bit of a misconception that same time. <laughs> it's an illusion. Yeah. So make sure that you, if you're doing a barrel roll, um, always be mindful that your follow should you should help initiate your follow with that turn and then leads you're going to go ahead and follow through yeah okay so so far what we have is our hammerlock and a few different ways to get out of it into our one hand jiving now there are multiple ways to start your one hand jiving but this was a cool way that we found was a little bit like a sly trick right mm -hmm. so anything that makes it look like pop or popping or like how'd they do that you know we always try to go for that uh, so let's go ahead and do what we have up until this point. So we have our basic one and two. We have our flat hand into our hammerlock. And we have multiple ways to kind of get out of this. Ha, huh. boom, yeah. Okay, and then we have our one hand jiving and leads. You have that inside waist roll. Huh. Now we're in cross hand position. Right, so again, leads. A nice way to start that, you have that inside turn for your follow from that one hand connection, up and over, boom. Another kind of sly way versus just to switch, switch. hands, right? So from that turn, you get a nice, uh, easy transition. Yeah. When it comes to the transition of switching hands, follows don't assume where the hand's going to be. Just keep hands waist level. We tell all the type of dances, all students, how to do this. Keep them waist level. The leads will always know. Yeah. You don't want to take them away. Do not take them away. Because okay. then you're going to have, can I? <laughs> it's a weird uh, fumbling situation. <laughs> as soon as she turns, if I place her hand here, 
It should stay there, so I know that it's going to be there. When he means uh, to by stay there is that follows, you don't have to literally, you don't need to touch and stay all the way across. Sometimes people find that uncomfortable. Let, hey, it's okay. We totally understand about everything here. So when leads, you go for this here, you're placing. And so what I'm doing is just maintaining that surface area and position. Yeah, cool. Very good. So now we're in crosshand, and you can do one hand jiving from crosshand. You have one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You can have a flat hand push from here as well. Two, one, two, or Inside a free turn. spin. And switch Boom. back. So you noticed with the cross hand that he just did here, once he brought me in around his back, so switch sleight of hand. So today we're working with a little bit of like illusions or smooth transitions. <laughs> and then we're back to this one hand normal position. This is what we're more used to. Uh, this is back. a typical uh, left one. and right. Yeah. Okay. So today's goal was to kind of get these cool looking transitions. Yeah. Smooth. Yeah. Smooth jiving. <laughs> 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 All right. So. Uh, we'll put all that together again, but here's a little tip too for um, bopping or for doing your basics. So we talked again about earlier that you have a one pulse, 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 pulse. If there was no pulse, it would just be ha, 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 ha. And even then we still want to add a little bit I, of that I pulse. I want to go down a little bit. <laughs> so um, yes, that is the motion, but the rhythm pulse 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 all right and you can have your slot or your swivels i call these like swivels or angled you see what i'm doing i'm not moving my feet i'm pulsing with my knees and my arms this is my very body. useful boom boom when i get boom. comfortable and i really get into it and i kind of twerk my shoulders in out my feet kind of move on their own. And if I take a step, I start over rotating and I start crossing. Ha, ha, ha. When she starts doing that, it helps your partner also feel the momentum shift. So that it also they can helps court. to kind of want to release. Because if we're doing this, we start moving, she starts crossing, she's almost blocked with this hand here. It doesn't feel as comfortable or cool. If I release this hand, same movement. I feel a little bit more free, and I can bop and move around a little bit easier. Yeah. So really lean into it as a follow. This is your friend. So if you have a uh, door... Well, Hopefully you have a door. But <laughs> if you have um, a towel, a, yeah, a towel or one of those exercise bands, there it is, uh, that stretches, you can put this around the doorknob. Or maybe you have a staircase, like a banister, right? So that hangs there. And you place it somewhere that's stable. And you play with this momentum. Because I know right now a challenge is that you might not have a partner, but you still want to work on dancing or technique. So um, if I'm the staircase to the door, <laughs> stable, right? And I would put my like band or my towel and I'm going to grab the towel at a nice, um, comfortable distance, not too far, not too short. So that it has a good length so that I can practice into my arm and I can also practice stepping, stepping, stepping. So I'm not stepping. trying to move. Ba. If your door ba. was closed, this ba. is how it would be. We've have we've had had some people with the door they leave the door open because the door will swing back and forth. Just be careful with your door. Don't break your door. Yeah. Don't come after. <laughs> so the door breaks. The door will swing back and forth with your movement, and that causes you to change your movement. Because every Pulse. lead, every Pulse. follow will dance Pulse. a little different. Dance. So it gets you used Pulse. to that movement. All right. So and then those are exercises to try there. So if bopping is still kind of new uh, to you, down up. Down, up, down, up, pulse, pulse. Now start to move your feet in, bo in both in the same direction or one, one, 
okay? Everything's a little bit more into the ground versus away from it or kicking up. Uh, we eliminate a little bit more of that because uh, we also do uh, like Lindy Hop in Charleston, and so the direction changes with that. Then everything is up, a little bit more up, and the kicks are different. But with jive and bopping, it's a little bit more grounded, down, down. Not to say that there isn't grounding in Lindy, because uh, it definitely is, but it just has a different look and style of it, okay? So again, uh, follows, you can try, boom, pulse. Pulse, 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 pulse. Make sure you're balanced, your center, your weight should be over that leg that's stabilizing you, not the leg that's moving. The leg that's moving obviously needs to travel, so your stabilizing leg needs to help you balance, balance. If you can see, her weight goes down on that leg before her body does. We don't want, is if, if you're trying this, you don't want, okay, I'm going to go this way. You don't want to go there first before your leg does. You want your leg to meet and then your weight goes first. Ha. Ha. Also looks like, you know, you got that cool style. 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 Ha. Use your shoulders. Ha. Ha. It's all about character and sass when you're dancing. It really is. I yeah. mean, so add in a lot of that uh, once you feel comfortable. A lot of your own personality. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Um, so our influences are a little bit mixed, all right? So we've, we have taken classes from um, Europeans. We've taken classes from um, Mexico City, the baby drivers. So our style is a little bit mixed mm -hmm. when we go through drive. And then, of course, we're heavily influenced by uh, Lindy Hop and Charleston. So sometimes kicks kind of come through. But that's the great thing about dance is that this is all connected. You really think about it, it's all connected. Oh, yeah. It started... You know, with we had tr tr uh, Charleston in the 20s, then with Lindy Hop, then there was Boogie, and something called Bebop, and then it turned into rock and roll, and then you got this rockabilly jive. So it's all connected. It's kind of like same, uh, s different faces, you know, for yeah. the for the dance, but it's pretty connected. So. And it all grew from different uh, countries and cities and everything. Because if it started, I think it started in New York and Harlem. And then it grew when it moved here to California. And then it moved yeah. when it went to Europe. And then it moved when it went to somewhere else. So every time it, it has... It changed just a little bit of sound, a different instrument that someone used, and it made a different dance. Yeah, so different, uh, different places where it would hit, get a little bit of flavor and taste from everywhere. So don't forget that. So by mixing in or crossing styles, we feel that that is like the greatest way to kind of represent everything, any oh, yeah. and all. I mean, typ the typical hammerlock we just showed you, that's more swing. And right, and we, when we first started uh, learning, uh, taking classes, it was a ballroom class that taught us hammerlock. So it's all interlocked, it's all intertwined, so don't get too hung up on like, you know, I, I have can't, to yeah, only I have to dance. do this, that, or the other. You can always mix it up, but you can also stay true to the dance as well and be yeah. able to know the differences in each dance. Yeah. Okay, so um, PSA over, public service announcement yeah. over. Uh, let's go ahead and review what we've done uh, for this uh, lesson here. So we are going for smooth slide transitions into one hand. We have a lot of hammer lock. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we have one, two, one, two, one, and then you bop. And walk around. Ha. A one, two, a one, two, one, two, one. I'm gonna do it two. one more time. Ha. 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 One and two. One and two. One, two, one, two. Boom. Ah. Underarm. Turn. Ha. 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 Mm -hmm. Like my singing? <laughs> Alright, we just wanna show you without music first. So just kind of, you don't get distracted with um, what's going on there, just to kind of see what's going through uh, footwork-wise. I yeah. really wanted you to focus on the humming. <laughs> yes. Comment below if you'd like to hear more humming, because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, we're going to dance it out to music, and that is it for this lesson. Just make sure you practice your smooth transitions. Yeah. Mm. All right, guys. Thank have you a guys. good one. Did you
Style 